All right, guys, in this video, I want to show you how to access and use the free online Desmos graphing calculator. So we're going to type desmos.com into our website here. Click on graphing calculator. Notice you don't have to log in or sign up or anything. It's just free to use. And in this video, I want to show you just how to use the graphing feature here. So first thing we could do is graph a line, just say y equals x and notice I enter it here in this menu and it automatically updates here and graphs the line. If I add one, it reflects that here. Now I'm using, I'm entering all this information using my keyboard, although there is a keyboard here um, that you can use as well. So if I pick a new line and I type Y equals X minus one, notice it plugs it in there. Another thing you could do is you could click right in there and edit. So let's say I wanted to put, uh, make that 3x or 5x or something like that. I can change that there. And if I wanted to add an exponent, if you're just wanting to square something, you can hit the square button like this uh, and backspace or backspace here, you can delete that. If you wanna add an exponent different than two, you would hit the, um, exponent button, which on your keyboard shortcuts is shift six. Notice it put the cursor up here in the exponent, and then you could put cubic there or whatever exponent you want. The other way to do it from the keyboard down here is this A with the power of B here. That just puts the cursor up in the exponent, and then you could put whatever exponent you want in there. So we'll leave that as squared. I'll put this back. Also, another thing you could do is enter fractions. So if I wanted to do one third, I could hit one third. All I did was hit the backspace key on the keyboard after I typed the one. Additionally, after you type the one, um, you could hit the divide key here and then three and put the one third in there. So let's make this um, plus four. Another thing that you can do is Notice these two, this line and this curve intersect each other. I can click right on the intersection points and it will highlight those. Uh, I can look at any point pretty much on the graph, drag it around. I'm just holding and clicking on my mouse and it will tell me the coordinates of those different points. You do the same thing with the line. Another thing you could do is zoom in and out using this plus and minus key. You can also drag it around by clicking and dragging. And also you can put your cursor anywhere on the graph and roll up or down on your mouse. And that will also zoom in and out on that point. If you ever get completely lost on a graph, just hit home and it'll take it back to the original viewing window. And depending on where your graph is, it may or may not show up there depending. Another thing you can do is hit the wrench. And there's a whole bunch of options here but the one I want to draw your attention to is the x-axis and y-axis. And these numbers tell you how, where the x-axis starts and ends. Similarly, the y-axis starts and ends. So let me move that. if I make that negative 15, it will automatically make the y-axis go down to negative 15 and let's say up to 20. This step is how often it puts a tick mark. Now, sometimes it will default it like it did here. But notice the y-axis goes by fives, five, 10, 15, and then it has the smaller grid lines in there. If I put this step to go by 10, it's only gonna label every 10, okay? So hope that was helpful to you in getting started with the Desmos graphing calculator.